Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, welcome to today's affirmation reading. My name is Morty. Today is February, or excuse me, January, January 21st, and it's um, 10:44 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, but so where I live in the world, right? Uh, we're getting hit with some heavy snow right now. It's been snowing all morning since the wee hours. So kind of bombarded out there. I had to go out early this morning. Um, but uh, yeah, it was, uh, it's nice to be home now, right? It's nice to be indoors uh, and to know it's all happening just outside. And yeah, I'm blessed enough to have warmth, right? And a place to stay. Um, it's beautiful. So anyways, um, so if you're listening, right, you might notice that the music is a little bit different this time. I, I, I used to have some running water playing and um, I was watching it and it, there was this ticking sound, right? It did. I noticed that it didn't sound as smooth, right, through the microphone as it does on my end. So I changed that. I changed it this morning to um, Beethoven's uh, Moonlight Sonata. So, I mean, this is really peaceful and enjoyable. Uh, it's relaxing. I've, I've had it playing as I've kind of been um, meditating uh, prior to the read. And um, <clears throat> just speaking with my guides. All right, and, and what I wanted to say is that um, I just want to remind all of us you know, that we all have guides. Um, we have spirit guides, right? Spirit guides that are there, spirit guides that care. Um, spirit guides that want to share um it's beautiful so i don't know i mean what i want to i kind of want to put a challenge out there to you guys today um that sometime today um try to find five ten fifteen minutes right of just alone time solitude just you right where you can be in a place where it's quiet right without distractions and the first thing that i encourage you to do is to begin thinking about everything in your life that you have to be grateful for, right? It's probably a pretty long list, right? A lot of thoughts. Um, and allow yourself to feel that gratitude in your heart, right? To really feel grateful. I'm kind of preparing you here, right? I'm, I'm, I'm raising your vibration. Um, raising your vibration, vibration and then uh, encouraging you then at that point to to speak to your guides, right? To express your gratitude to them. Um, they've been they've been looking out for you your whole life. Uh, they still are. Um, you can communicate with them, right? You can call out to them, um, and it's a beautiful thing for somebody in life, right? When you come to a place and you realize for the first time that they are there and they love and they care and they have your best interest in mind right they're here to help you along this journey this experience this go around in life right because i believe we have many go arounds yeah so i'm kind of speaking from experience now um you know that's something that that i've experienced recently and i continue to experience and honestly, it gives me such a feeling of gratitude um, to know you're not alone, right? To know that, um, I don't know, you know, spirits, energies from previous lifetimes, pre previous lifetime experiences, um, of being there for one another. Um, I don't know, I like the idea of my energy, you know, maybe going on both sides, right? Sometimes I'm, I'm, maybe my energy is, is participating in the play, right? I'm, I'm in this mortal experience. And maybe other times, right, after that mortal experience is over, maybe I'm one of those energies that, that could be a spirit guide, right? And I'm here now vested in those same energies that I love and care for in this world. Um, but I'm able to help them on the other side. It's really quite beautiful. It is. So, anyways, enough rambling on my part. I just, just want to encourage everybody to... Uh, everybody to, to try that today i think you'll be happy you did it do you have a good experience hell let me know say i mean let me know in the comments i love to read the comments by the way um yeah they mean so much to me
Truly, I don't know if you'll ever really know how much they mean to me, but so much. I'm very appreciative of all the love and support that I receive on this channel. The followers and the likes and the subscribes, you know, and so many of you that have been kind enough to share some of your stories, some of your experience, right? Also letting me know that um, that these reads are resonating with you, that the affirmations are, are resonating with you, you know, that you're finding your piece of truth, right, for you. Um, you're finding your truth in the reads, that you're able to, um, because of what you've learned, right? You have a heads up, a head start moving ahead now. You're better prepared. And it allows you to live a happier life, right? Raise your vibration. That's the goal. Okay. So, I'm just pulling an affirmation. I want to see which affirmation would best serve somebody today. It's a great one. He drew the affirmation of energy. The number 13. A light inside my fire divine. Energy fill me. Make me shine. A light inside my fire divine. Energy fill me. Make me shine. A light inside my fire divine. Energy fill me. Make me shine. Sorry. Okay, the number 14, right? Reduces to the number four. Representing stability, right? Solid, secure foundation. Energy. I mean, this is a, that's a great affirmation. Let's read about it in the guidebook here. Okay, guys, there are times when our inner core seems like it has melted down. We have no joy, they leave, get up and go, vitality, or as the ancient Celts called it, N-W-Y-F-R-E, right? Um, it's akin to prana or chi. We feel flat and exhausted and tired. This low period can heal deeper maladies and it is important not to make an enemy of this feeling. Instead, give yourself some time to rest. Three days, three nights. Then it's time to cast this magical affirmation to restore the vitality you have been distanced from. We need energy to live to our fullest potential and why our energy levels can ebb and flow. If we find ourselves consistently low, we can begin to find life overwhelming. When cast, this magical affirmation will reconnect you with the, with the infinite energies of the universe and allow you to draw from this vast and endless well so that you are revived, replenished, and ready to fully live once again. If you have been chosen by this affirmation, see it as a helping hand from the universe, the natural world, and all the elementals. They are showing you that in order to live well, you must reconnect with the source of energy for for all of humanity, that is, nature and the planet herself. If you have chosen this affirmation, you may feel well tired, lethargic, as if a spiritual or physical inuai is upon you like a cloak of leaden gray. By casting this affirmation, you are giving yourself and the universe permission to reconnect for a new energy to flow into your life and into your soul's journey in magical new ways. <clears throat> Wow. What a great affirmation. Energy. You know, so somebody out there, somebody out there needs needs this affirmation, right? You need to be able to realize that take those I mean, it's interesting. They three I said the affirmation three times. The kind of rest they encourage you to take three days, three nights, right? manifesting power to the number of three so somebody out there take some time three days and three nights to rest and then come alive allow that spiritual essence energy within you to come out it's beautiful okay guys have a great day good luck with your energy